Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Happy New Year. Welcome to the year 2020. At a time like this, people make resolutions. They say they want to lose weight or get in better shape. They may want to save more money or get a job promotion or repair relationships. All those are good things. But for this video, I made 20 CCW resolutions for the year 2020. And I have to admit, as I made this list, I soul searched myself and found out that I am not as great of a concealed carrier as I thought I was. And I think if you do the same, you will find that some of these may, may be helpful and there are areas that you may need to include on your daily or weekly CCW basis. Number one, is your carry rig perfect? And the reason I say that is because in today's world, there is no excuse not to have the perfect holster and the perfect gun. For CCW, we live in the golden age of accessories and firearms. There are so many choices. You know, do do you have something uh, in mind that's better out there that you think would be better for you? And if so, try to achieve that in 2020 and, and practice with it, no doubt. You know, do you have other positions in, ca in case your clothes dictate that you change the way you carry a gun? Or, or are you you know, one way only, and then when you don't have the right clothes, you don't carry it all. That's something to consider. Number two, teach a kid gun safety. If you don't do it, they may never learn, and we don't know what the end result could be uh, with that, and it's, it's so important. Number three, stop padding your gun, all right? We often pad, sometimes we lift our pants by, you know, putting our hand right over the muzzle of our gun to do that. Your gun's there, it's safe, It'll be fine. Lift your pants the normal way. Uh, number four, carry a knife, a light, and a spare mag. This is common sense for so many people, but you'd be shocked at how many actually do not do that. And they, they know they should, they just don't. This is just a friendly reminder to, once again, make the perfect rig for you. Number five, speak to an anti-gun person calmly now i know this is hard and, and i have to check myself sometimes because my first response to some of the stupid things they say is you know and i, I want to get mad and, and sometimes they get intimidated and say yep that's just another one of those gun nuts i'm out of here convince them be you know use the facts that are on our side anyways number six Increase your ammo supply, whether you buy on uh, payday, uh, when you're at the store, or in bulk, it just kind of goes away. It's sort of like a, a bank account. You know, you think you have a lot of money, and all of a sudden you don't have as much as you thought you did. Check your ammo supply, see what you're shooting primarily, and increase it. That will never be a bad idea. Uh, number seven, be more situationally aware. All right, we are in the age where everybody's staring at their phones. We get caught up in technology. We get sidetracked, and there are things going on around us, and we have no idea about it. Number eight, take an interested person to the range. I have a lot of people say, one day I just want to go to the range. You know, I, just, I, I need to do this, but I'm a little bit intimidated. You know, it's loud. I don't know if I have the right gear. Take them to the range. You know, these are people who are fence sitters, and you can move them over to our side. And many times these are people who vote. We need people like that. If you think about it, somebody once took you to the range. Number nine, keep, in health, keep a healthy mind and be open to learning more. That applies to everybody. We get caught up into our ways of doing things, and we close ourselves off to new information. Number 10, practice drawing from concealment. Now, I'm usually pretty good at this, but as I made this list, I said, you know, it's been a while since I've done that, and I do carry in different positions, so I'm going, I'm going to increase that myself. You can check and see if that's something that you need to work on. Number 11, stay informed nationally and locally, and I want to concentrate on locally because most every area throughout this country has local gun groups that would love nothing more than for you to be a member or be involved or attend rallies. Anything you do above and beyond is, is helpful to them and your area. Number 12, carry 24-7 wherever legally is possible. Now you say, well, of course that 
You'd be shocked at how many people say, I just carry when I think I'm going into a bad area more than you even know. Number 13, practice weekend shooting. And that's something else I need to do. You know, I, I get used to, you know, I'm a righty, I draw, shoot with my right. Can I shoot with my left? Can I do that safely without sweeping myself? I need to work on that. Number 14, I've got a list down here. Convince a friend to get a CCW permit if your state requires it. Convince a friend to do that. There's always somebody who says, you know, that's I need to do that. You know, help them out with the process. It can't be a bad thing and never will be a bad thing. Uh, number 15, use an appropriate CCW belt. Now, this is something you hear a lot about, and a lot of people don't do it. I have three examples to show you here. Uh, I actually have another one over there, but here's a, a crossbreed. Here's a vetter, and this is an interesting vetter that I really enjoy. You can preset that one. A lot of choices out there. Some of you haven't made that move, and if you do that, you will find that carrying is so much more comfortable. Uh, number 16, secure your guns, and if needed, buy a safe. Most smash and grab robbers will not mess with a safe. Now, whether it's a heavy duty security cabinet or a real safe, your budget will dictate that, but it is very important. Number 17, join Gun Owners of America. They are the group that will fight for our rights better than any group nationally that I'm aware of. You know, I don't have a, a grudge against all these other groups, but I just think they are so strong and they get out there and they make things happen so gun owners of america huge shout out to them number 18 be physically fit to run away if needed you know a lot of times we get caught up into uh just using our gun sometimes it's better to flee and you have to be able to do that if you are physically capable uh practice distance shooting all right that's number 19 practice distance shooting uh the video i recently said you know if you look at what happened in the texas shooting you know that guy he made a shot from a little bit of ways and it was a headshot from a moving target he practiced that and was able to do it under stress at that time can you do that i don't know if i can so we need to practice that even more and consider ccw insurance is number 20 all right, but I do have a number 21, and that is increase your medical training. I took a stop the bleed class. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot about tourniquets and other ways to stop the bleed in case that situation occurs. I think that would be helpful. Those are actually 21 resolutions for the year 2020. I hope you find this helpful. Happy New Year, Soul Search. And I'll be seeing a lot of you in the upcoming year. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.